Welcome to the channel, and for today's video, we're back in Hunting Simulator 2 to continue hunting for legendary animals. Now, since I don't have any of the predator animals with the exception of the cougar, I decided the first target for the day would be the brown bear. I decided to use the same method for hunting the brown bear as I've done in the past, which is to just hunt. Looking for locations of the brown bear, and every time I have an interaction, marking it down on the map. And eventually, those would paint a nice picture of where I could expect them to be. I start off the map I don't dare try and pronounce, the one with the big lake in the middle, because I've in the past had pretty good luck finding bears around the lake as they get kind of caught up on the shoreline. And with a couple of kills, it wasn't going quite as planned, and I was getting distracted a little bit. Eventually I made my way to the marshland and continued hunting and marking on the map all interactions to get the same picture as to where I can expect to find the bears. And again, I would still let distractions get better at me and end up hunting something other than brown bear. Thank you. 
On the plus side though, just because I was trying to hunt primarily brown bear doesn't mean the legendary brown bear is the only thing I could expect to see and, well, that can lead to a pleasant surprise. Just need to sneak in close enough. Oh, I need to back up. I need to back up. Maybe to here. Actually, just call him. I have 107 pounds, this one's 95, mine's 7.8 years, this one's 7.4, still a legendary. Now even though I got the legendary wolf and I still had a tag for the brown bear, I figured I might as well call it quits, because to my understanding there can only be one legendary on a map at a time, so the fact that there was a legendary wolf means there's no potential for the legendary brown bear. So I continued on hunting brown bear glassing from the cabin, and occasionally walking around the edge of the marshland, since pretty much 90% of the time, that's where I was seeing him. Depending on the order I showed these clips, you probably start to notice that there's one particular area that I'm starting to see the brown bear more and more, and I tend to start focusing that area more and more. And all that hunting, all the repetition, finally paid off. How did I miss him? He was down there the whole time. Oh, he's, he's booking it too. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He's going that way. Oh, I got a lot of ground to cover. I should have stayed put. I was just on the other end of that lake. Run, little piggy. Run. If it wasn't for my stamina, I'd catch you. I love how I get down here and it's harder to see over there. Crap. I lost sight. I don't... I'm hoping he's still over on that hill somewhere. There he is. Oh, he's just hanging out. Maybe. No, oh, now he's wandering up. Okay. No, no, look, maybe he's still hanging out. He's moving a little bit. Well, from this distance, he actually doesn't look all that different. God, I was just over here. Oh, now, yeah, no, he looks different. I know I probably don't need to be crouched yet, but... I don't want to risk it. I have had to kill so many bears to get here. Don't, don't come this way too much. I think I want to let him wander back up the shore a bit before I call him. That way he comes in that way versus that way. Of course, now that I say that, now he's not going to go up. Now he's going to stay down by the water. All right, I think that works. And immediately have his attention. Good hit. He turned sideways perfect for me. Give me a good broadside. Oh, he's already slowed down. He's still trucking. Actually, I don't think he's trucking anymore because I don't see him and he's no longer pinging. All right, let's go see. Oh yeah, there's a hit. Good blood. And that's a dead bear. Now let's take a look. Yep. 
That is a mature legendary. I got him with the model 70, 80 yards, perfect broadside long shot. License complete, time to take him back to the cabin. All right, let's see. So actually a bit of a rarity. He's actually bigger uh, by about nine pounds than the brown bear I already have, but he is younger by a couple years. Double the score and double the value. Still gonna keep him though. So and there you have it. There's the legendary gray wolf and now a legendary brown bear. He's not albino. Very interesting, actually. It's so weird, though, because sometimes the scaling seems so off. Like, this is a 452-pound black bear. This is an 1,152-pound brown bear. Not that much size difference. And then over here, I have my grizzly, which is 392 pounds. What? My grizzly is 392 pounds? So wait, this bear is a... Th no, a quarter? 392, 400, so a third of the weight of that brown bear. Yeah, sure, that, that makes sense. All right, so let's see. That means legendary red fox, legendary Sika, legendary bighorn. Oh, legendary bighorn, legendary desert bighorn, legendary mule deer, legendary cougar. I apparently haven't even gotten a trophy red deer since before the whole legendary update. Legendary wild boar, just a big fallow, legendary roe deer, legendary brown bear, legendary gray wolf, legendary moose, legendary whitetail, legendary elk, if I remember correctly, it's this side, yeah. And then are you, yeah, wait, hang on. Legendary pronghorn, but I think you two are normal. Yeah, normal coyote and normal bobcat. So I have bobcat, coyote, red deer, oh, and then the bison, right, legendary bison. So fallow deer, red deer, grizzly, black bear, bobcat, coyote. I believe that's all I have left because I don't, well, I say I don't know if the small game comes in legendary, but legendary turkey. So I'm guessing they do. That's going to be a pain. These guys were hard enough to hunt as it is. But if nothing else, hunting the predators first does one wonderful thing. Gives me plenty of cash. So I think next time he'll be back to the Bandera region. Probably look for bobcats and coyotes. Uh, I believe this is going to be one of the easier areas to find him just because there's so many points that you can glass long range. For instance, there's some bighorn sheep at 1800 yards. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do next time. So hopefully you enjoyed the video because there's buttons if you did, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.